Hi guys, welcome back. Uh, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to program chords using Ableton's MIDI chord effects and a classic Korg M1 plugin, all right? So the first thing I'm gonna do is, uh, I'm gonna minimize this drum group we made earlier just by clicking this little button here, okay? As you can see, all right? Then I'm gonna click anywhere here and I'm gonna right click and I'm going to insert a MIDI track, all right? So we have our MIDI track here, all right? Now, the next thing I'm gonna do is bring up the chord MIDI effect, which if I go to MIDI effects here and then go to where it says chord, I wanna drag and drop the chord into the MIDI channel here like that. And then you will see the chord MIDI effect appear at the bottom here, all right? Now, the next thing I'm gonna do is bring up the sound source. The sound source we're gonna be using is the Korg M1 synthesizer. And it's a plugin, which I have in my plugins folder. And if I go to my plugins folder here, and I look for Korg, it's Korg M1, okay? So I need to drag and drop the M1 into my MIDI track, all right? Now, the main reason why I'm using the Korg M1 synthesizer, it's a great plugin, um, back in the day, uh, used to be a keyboard and uh, a lot of those well i used to use it quite a lot a lot of the guys that are nice and ripe people like myself grant nelson richard purser a lot of those uh early us producers like master at work kerry chandler eric murillo you name it all those guys they've all used this plugin you know it's got great strings great rows great organ sounds great bass great effects all sorts of sounds I know the sound I'm gonna use, uh, there's a great string sound called Big Strings. Uh, so if I go to my browser here, and I click on Strings here, and I wanna bring up the Big Strings, all right, which is here, so I'm gonna click onto it. So let me play it. Let me arm the track first. Okay, so that's my Big String sound, okay? What I want to do with this sound, I actually want to get rid of all the effects on it and I want to get rid of the release on it. And I also want to increase the attack on it, okay? So uh, if I go to the master effects and then I get rid of the effects on both channels, on both sides of the channel, the left and the right. All right, then I want to go into my performance here and I want to bring the attack right down. So you can hear the difference already, right? But it's still got a little bit of release on it. So now I want to bring the release all the way down, okay? So when I touch the keyboard. So I want it completely dry. Okay, let me come out of this uh, plugin now. So now I'm gonna create a chord. The MIDI chord effect allows you to add extra notes to the one you are already playing. So here is how I have it with no additional notes. So this is just me hitting the C key on the keyboard. So now I will click on Shift 1 and adjust the control knob to plus 10 semitones. Okay, so this is effectively two notes playing at the same time. And then I adjust shift two to plus 14. You can see it's added a third note on top of what we already had, all right? And then if I add plus 15 to shift three. And if I add one final note, shift four, pressing the C key on the keyboard, bring it to plus 19 semitones. So now you can hear the full chord, all right? 
So if I play across the keyboard, you'll see what I'm talking about. You can actually, uh, using one finger notes on your keyboard, you can actually play some really cool chords. <laughs> So you can hear it, it really makes it easy to start building up quite complex and different chords. And you don't really need to learn music theory to come up with chords like this. I mean, even the most experienced piano players would find it really difficult to play notes in this kind of way. So the next thing I'm gonna do, I'm actually gonna just drop a reverb on that channel as well. So I'm gonna go into my audio effects this time. And then I'm gonna scroll down and look for reverb. And then I'm going to drop it after the M1 Korg, all right? I'm just going to bring the dryness down. Okay. So how the signal flow works, the notes from your MIDI keyboard come into the track, all right? Then it goes into the chord MIDI effect here, which adds the extra notes. Then it goes into the Korg M1 synth or any other synthesizer that you're using. And then out of that, into any kind of audio effect you may have, such as in this case, our reverb. It could be a delay or flanging or some phasing sounds or a gate or extra EQ or chorus. Okay, so we have our chord structure. Um, you know, so as you can see, you don't have to use these same settings. You can actually change change the settings in whatever way you want to and create your own chords. You could even add some more. You can actually add up to six notes with uh, the chord MIDI effect. Okay, so I'm actually gonna bring that back to zero. Um, I'm actually gonna use my chord settings. Uh, there's a really nice chord structure I wanna use for this. Um, if I leave that on 10, leave that on plus 14, and I think we're going to leave shift three at 15 for now. Um, so we've got it going like this. Which is quite a nice sounding deep house chord, but I think I want to change this from 15 to 17. And you can hear the difference. Okay, so if I change it back to 15. Oops. And back to 17. Okay, so it sounds a little bit more happy. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna play the drums, um, and then I'm gonna play around and see what kind of chord patterns I can make from this, all right? So let me press play on the group of drums. Pretty cool. So we've got. So I'm actually going to record that in onto, onto our MIDI track. So I'm going to create a clip, highlight the MIDI track. I'm going to right click on any of those slots, insert MIDI clip. All right. And I'm actually going to just 
minimize this. I'm gonna make the pattern over four bars and let me see what we got here. Okay, that's pretty cool. So I'm actually gonna click the record button now up here. So I've actually made a little, little mistake here. So let me get rid of that. So I'm actually gonna zoom in a little bit better and let's see what we've got here so far. Okay, so as you can see, if I zoom in, it's not quite on time here. And there's a few places where it's a bit off as well. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna highlight all these notes. I'm gonna go into our edit, and then I'm gonna go into quantize settings. And remember we had the swing on some of the drum sounds, especially the snares and stuff, a lot of them, the swing was on, was set to 16T. So I wanna put these on 16T as well. So, flick through, make sure it's on 16T, then click OK, and as I click OK, it should shift all those notes into place. Like that, all right? So let me play the track again. And there you have it, and I'll see you on the other side.